Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we are in the unit of sample to sample variability and we've talked about ways to collect data and we've talked about different parameters and samples and we've talked about how this particular topic is important because when you take a sample, regardless of how good it is, you're not going to have a perfect little miniature version of the population. And so you need to account for the fact that different samples would create or result in different results. So we talked uh, recently about different parameters that we're going to be trying to estimate, and that included P, which is the population proportion, and mu, which is the sample proportion. So they're both parameters because, or excuse me, mu, which is the population mean. They're both parameters because they re both refer to a population. Now, we are going to end up using their sample estimates or their statistics that correspond to them to estimate those parameters. So we had P hat, which is the statistic or the sample proportion that will be used to estimate P. And then we have X bar, which is the sample mean or the statistic that corresponds to mu. So we will be trying to use X bar to estimate mu. Now, one of the most important things you can realize in this chapter that we're talking about sampling variability is that P and mu are not a moving target. They are what they are. They do not change for different samples. So I like to use the example of a dartboard and the parameter that you're trying to estimate is the bullseye, okay? When you're throwing darts, the bullseye, the dartboard, it does not move. It always is what you're trying to get to. Same is true for a parameter. Different samples do not change the parameter. However, this is why I like the bullseye analogy, because the dart is going to be that sample estimate, okay? So when you throw a new dart or take a new sample, it's not gonna land the same place every time. It's probably going to be different when you throw it. So the sample estimate or that statistic will change every time, because that's the dart you're trying to use to throw at that bullseye. But the parameter, the bullseye itself, will not change. That is a very important fact for y'all to remember. So the bullseye or that parameter doesn't change with a new sample. However, a new sample creates new results or a new dart that you will be throwing to try to estimate that population value. So keep that in your mind. Samples vary from sample to sample, and therefore the statistic has the ability to vary. The parameter does not vary. It is what it is. So the statistic, because it's coming from different random samples, will vary from sample to sample. We will get into this a lot more in future videos. See you there.